So, stopped for a little break on my ruck. I was planning on filming this. Under this little gazebo down there. But the sun's beating right down on it. It's cooler here in the tree line, so I'll come in here. And I was on a live the other night on Wired Tight Live. And I uh, want to thank him for having me on. And uh, Modern Frontierman showed up. And Red Dawn Readiness. And I think some other people can't remember. It's been... <laughs> uh, am I having a stroke? Anyway, it was a good time. And we were talking about preps for the upcoming election season and maybe all the shenanigans that'll be going on with that. And something that came up into my mind in the middle of it is what if if things went to crap, what kind of trade do you have or are you capable of that you could do to barter with that type of thing? Whether it's leather work, blacksmithing, growing certain types of food, sewing. If you have a inordinate amount of some type of supply, what you know, be thinking about what you could have as a grid down trade item slash job, you know, because there's a there's a certain point where you know, you will be trying to trade and barter for certain supplies because not everybody can just have everything, and so uh, that was one of those things I I thought was kind of important, especially going into what seems like one of the most chaotic seasons of my lifetime in America. There are even people who lived through the Cold War and going into these bunker things for practice and getting under their desk. And some of them, even on some of these podcasts, like leaving comments have said that I'm more freaked out now than I was during the times of me having to get under the desk in the middle of school. I, like right now seems more uh, volatile and more dangerous than even then. So that's kind of crazy. So yeah, be thinking about what you could do to, you know, make money in the sense of like, wouldn't actually be monetary money unless it was gold, but just to, to make a living, whether that's trading for food or what have you, you know, uh, services, not the illegal, well, whatever. I'm, I'm not going to say do something immoral, but, uh, you know, there is that oldest profession in the world. I wouldn't suggest getting involved in that, but yeah, think about what you could do to further your family without having to harm people, but with, with being a, a credit to the society, to community instead of being a drain on it. Just consider that as things sort of develop in this next year. And uh, my glasses keep slipping down. My face is freaking, freaking wet. Raining on myself out here. But hopefully that means I'm dropping some weight. Anyway, just a thought guys. And uh, once again, I just wanted to thank uh, Wired Tight Live for having me on. So uh, I appreciate that dude. And if you ever want to do it again, I'm, I'm totally down for that. And uh, all the channels I mentioned, go check them out. Red Dawn Readiness, Modern Frontierman, uh, almost forgot, uh, Val from Freedom By Me. He was on the live too. So uh, go check out all those channels. Those are good dudes. And uh, if you're a prepper, you know, network, build a, build a community if you can. And that's kind of what I think all of us are trying to do is, is somehow build a community where we can network with other people in our area and around the country and, uh, you know, somehow have some success out of these future months and years in the country, whether it goes our way or not.